Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a six digit number and a five digit number and we will do this using the vertical format. So let's have a look at our first example. What is 548,329 minus 43,654. Now because we're going to do this in the vertical format, the first step is to rewrite the question in nice, neat columns. So let's do this over here. 548,329 minus 43,654. We are now ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. Now, as always, we start with the column on the right hand side first. We've got 9 minus 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. Okay, nice easy one to start with. How about the tens column? We've got 2 minus 5. Now, because 2 is smaller than 5, we're going to take 1 from the column on the left. In this case, it's the hundreds column. So let's cross out 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. And the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to add to the tens column. So the tens column has now become 12 minus 5. 12 minus 5 is 7. Okay, now on to the hundreds column. We've got 2 minus 6. 2 minus 6. Well, the 2 is smaller than the 6. Therefore, we're going to take 1 from the column on the left. In this case, it's the thousands column. So let's cross out 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. And the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to move across to the hundreds column. So the hundreds column has now become 12 minus 6. 12 minus 6 is... 6. On to the thousands, we've got 7 minus 3. 7 minus 3. The answer is 4. Now on to the ten thousands, we've got 4 minus 4. Well, that's a nice easy one, the same number. Minus the, uh, the two numbers we're going to subtract are the same, so therefore the answer is 0. And this last digit, the hundred thousands, is subtracting 0, so this does not change. And we have arrived at our answer. It is 504,675. Now again, we're following through from principles we've learned in previous tutorials. Now let's have a look at our second example. This time we have 683,000. 511 subtract 78,904. Now the first step is to rewrite the question in nice neat columns. So we're going to do that over here. 683,511 subtract 78,900 and four. Okay, we've done that. Now we're ready to do the subtraction. Starting on the right hand side, we have one minus four. Now one minus four we cannot do because one is smaller than four. So we're going to take one from the column on the left. Let's cross out the one. One minus one is zero. And the one we have taken, we're going to move across to the tens. Sorry, to the units column. The units has now become 11 minus 4. 11 minus 4 is 7. On to the tens, we've got 0 minus 0. Well, that's a nice easy one. It's 0. How about the hundreds? We've got 5 minus 9. 5 minus 9. Now, because 5 is smaller than 9, we're going to take 1 from the column on the left. So let's cross out the 3. 3 minus 1 is 2, 
and the one we have taken from here we're going to add to the five so therefore the hundreds column now reads 15 minus 9 15 minus 9 is 6 now onto the thousands we've got 2 minus 8 2 minus 8 now because 2 is smaller than 8 we're going to take one from the column on the left in this case it's the 8 so let's cross out the 8 8 minus 1 is 7 and the one we have taken from here we're going to add to the thousands column it's looking a little bit messy but I, I hope you can follow this the thousands has now become 12 minus 8 12 minus 8 is 4 now we're on to the ten thousands seven minus seven that's easy that's a zero and lastly we've got six minus zero the answer is six and that is our answer it is six hundred and four thousand six hundred and seven six hundred and four thousand six hundred and seven and for that we get a nice big tick so that is how we subtract a six-digit number and a five-digit number using the vertical format.